All right, let's talk about Kenneth Walker, the guy who, you know, uh, electric runner. I think that, you know, I had some issues with him coming out of college of the other stuff in his game, the sort of pass protection and stuff. And in a small sample size, that's still been very much not good. But in the running game itself, he has been electric, and that's what they drafted him to be, is a running back. They, they feel like they can deal with the other stuff. So let's talk about what he's bringing to the Seattle team. You know, when Penny got hurt, I think everyone thought, oh man, this, this could be a blow for the Seahawks. In a way, it kind of made them better by opening up uh, Kenneth Walker, let's talk about what he can do, starting off with this play. It's going to be a rush to the offense's left. You have the right guard and right tackle pulling over from the right to the left. So you're pulling multiple offensive linemen over, meaning that for Walker, you can't just sprint there right away. You have to let the play develop. You have to be a little bit patient right here. Right when this play begins, he's being patient, but there just really isn't that much of a window for him to run through. So what do you do in this situation? Well, sometimes it's not the worst thing in the world when there isn't a window to run through in this scenario because you look over to your left and realize there's no one really in containment right here for the Chargers. He has an opening if he wants to take it. And so as you see, that's exactly what he does, but he has the speed. Uh, so speed and vision, those two things are really what makes Kenneth Walker so great. Again, you know, I had him as my favorite, just pure rusher of the football in the draft class last year. The only reason I had him as my second favorite running back was because of the pass blocking, but it's because of stuff like this that he can just do so effectively. He really can. I mean, you know, again, uh, you know, just I'm talking about myself, my own takes for a second, uh, a little bit, maybe too much, but the reason why I'm doing it is to kind of say, you know, what I thought of him earlier and how that's maybe coloring my opinion of him now and maybe how I, it's changing my opinion of him now is I didn't love the Seahawks spending a second round pick on a running back just because. I felt like they were very much a rebuilding team. I thought they were going to be awful this year. I did not see this Geno Smith playing very well thing coming. But part of why I didn't love it is because I, I kind of just don't like spending that high of a draft pick on running backs in general. But typically, you know, especially don't like it when you're a rebuilding team. But if you are competitive and you are a team who values the running game and you have someone like Walker who can add value like this, I mean, this is definitely a, a value adding play. There still is value to be had in a running back. And it might have been uh, might, might have been too harsh on them at the time. Like this is another good example of just, you know, really good play and well blocked. That's something that you always have to say with a lot of these plays. Not that last one. That last play was just kind of kind of Walker. But, you know, a lot of times the real running games value comes from the running back, although, you know, from, for the Seahawks, not always so much. I mean, you know, uh, we're seeing kind of Walker make some plays now. Obviously, Marshawn Lynch, one of the best ever to be able to make something happen out of nothing. But on this play, it's going to be a running, it's going to be a running play up the middle, basically. Watch as Walker takes a snap. He is going to, you know, look up the middle and you see that there is a gap, but there's two safeties who can come in and make a play. And, you know, this is part of the thing with, uh, the, the Chargers in general is they play two safety deep a lot. That's kind of what they typically like to do. Their logic is they'd rather get beat on the ground than get beat through the air. It results in them getting beat through the on the ground a lot because of that strategy. But sometimes it does work out as well. One of the issues is they just don't have the the talent to really pull this off. You know, Brandon Staley kind of. I feel like every team does this a lot to some degree. Now, Brandon Staley kind of started the trend with when he had Aaron Donald, uh, so it made it a lot easier to do it then when Aaron Donald could kind of take on like three offensive linemen uh, in the running game itself. But without that, it makes it more difficult. But the way it relates to this play means that if Kenneth Walker is going to run up the middle, he basically has to outrun those safeties to try and get into the end zone because it's a well-blocked play. It's going to go for a decent amount of yards. But look, as you see, Walker does have the explosiveness to get into the end zone for a touchdown there. Uh, just a, you know, really good play from Walker. And again, shows off his explosiveness, shows off what he can do, and shows off some good run blocking. Give credit to the offensive linemen. They're doing some good stuff as well. One of the things, going over to this play now, one of the things that I always felt like Walker didn't get enough credit for in college is he's a tough guy to bring down. Like, everyone kind of views him as just kind of like a fast shifty guy but no he's someone who even if you get a hand on him you're not necessarily bringing him down uh which is another just positive trait that he has so once again you see the uh, concept on your screen the unblocked player here is going to be the edge rusher all the way over to the right side of the screen so no worries walker is going to run to the left so 
you don't really have to worry about that too much as long as the offensive line does their job this should be a decent run and when this play begins the offensive line is really close to doing their job perfectly but close does not count in the run blocking game you're either perfect or you're not perfect it's such a team sport when it comes to run defense and run blocking and you see right here we have a chargers player who has a chance to tackle walker right this is close this is the really tough situation uh both of those guys right next to each other uh, you know maybe he can make a tackle maybe he can't this this is to me this is a true like 50 50 type scenario this is not a great matchup for kenneth walker this is not a bad matchup for walker and as you see he you know runs by him does end up getting out of that tackle and he's able to get a, a big chunk play that again if we're talking above replacement level plays if they didn't draft Kenneth Walker, well, whoever they're putting in there might get tackled there. And that's a that is a big value swing in that situation. So there are plays where having a good running back batters and having a good running back adds value. Typically, I still stand by the the tr the you know the way I view it, which is typically if you have a Marshawn Lynch running back, well then that adds a good chunk of value. But if you don't, then it kind of uh you know it adds some value, but maybe not as much as a casual fan might think it does because running backs tend to get a good chunk of the value that the offensive line generated. However, who knows? Maybe Kenneth Walker is the next Marshawn Lynch. He's certainly playing like a fantastic running back as of right now. So it's, you know, again, very good. One last play. Let's go over here now. So what's going to happen on this one is it's going to be uh, a running game, a running pl play to the left side of the screen. It's going to try. It's designed to get him to the outside. That's what they're trying to do here. Which again makes some sense. You got a guy who's this explosive. Try to get him in open space. I like this play call from Seattle. I wouldn't be shocked if they try to do this a lot more. As you see, it's going to work out. They get Walker the ball, and at this point, there's a couple of Chargers players who are unblocked at this point uh, and can get over and try to make a tackle, but this is just where the explosiveness of Kenneth Walker is going to come into play. I mean, look at him just completely run by everybody, and again, a replacement level player, what? They get tackled at their own 35-yard line right there. Kenneth Walker takes that all the way in for a touchdown on that play, so immediately that's just tremendous value and again part of the whole should you draft a running back or should you not draft a running back discussion is less about the player itself I've always been very pro Kenneth Walker as a player it's more about the value itself but doing a play like this is legitimately generating you a ton of value now part of it was I didn't think that the uh Seahawks were would be that great this year and no they've been very good but you know it's worth mentioning uh, you know, if you look at EPA, uh, cumulative EPA, uh, Geno Smith still had uh, 10 EPA. That's estimated points added. So 10 points added. And that's not him himself added it. But when he threw the ball, it was 10 points added. But you look at Kenneth Walker, he had 4.1, which is a pretty decent chunk. I mean, that's definitely valuable if you can add that much. And again, how much does the average running back generate in that situation? I don't know. I don't know how that works out. It's impossible to really say because he did have some good situations with the, uh, you know, uh, pass uh, run blocking, excuse me, at times, not every time, but at times. But what we do know is that the running game is still adding value for the Seattle team and Kenneth Walker is adding value on top of that. He's been a very exciting player to watch and a very fun player to watch. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching.